On face value, you had a restaurant um, that had to be pretty, pretty brazen to be right down the street from the FBI. They only had to walk about half a block down Pennsylvania Avenue. They could literally see you from the J. Edgar Hoover building. Why did you feel safe doing what you did there? Well, first of all, uh, uh, Director Mueller would be in the restaurant almost every day, so they didn't have to walk half a block. <laughs> all he had to do was look up uh, from uh, from where he was. We actually didn't enjoy he, when he came. He was a very nice man, but uh, they seemed to think that they could clear out the entire section he wanted to sit in uh, with the uh, FBI agents and uh, make give him privacy, and they didn't quite understand, I guess, that it was at least pretending to be a business at that <laughs> point. You know, Kojo, unfortunately, uh, I didn't really believe that what I was doing uh, was illegal and wrong, uh, unfortunately. And uh, that that's not to uh, be a credit to me. That's actually more of a detriment to me, uh, that I didn't uh, look up from um, uh, the morass that I had created around myself and the, the swamp I had built for myself to realize I was in a swamp and uh, of my own making, by the way. I don't blame others for what I did. I blame myself. And I was the one who went and served all the prison time, not somebody else. So, um, uh, but in terms of it being right there with the Justice Department, Justice Department officials were constantly in the restaurant. Uh, I knew a number of the, the upper level folks who were there. I didn't encounter any of them during my investigations and everything, but uh, uh, but it was not something that we felt that was, or I felt that was any way wrong. Well, let's get into how you use the business to get inside of congressional offices. You described the place in the past as a cafeteria for lawmakers and their staffs. How did you make it work for you? Well, um, a combination of things. First of all, um, having a place where we had a home court uh, so close to the hill, so close to Capitol Hill, was very important to us. Um, just the dynamic of discussions of lobbying. Uh, when you're in their offices, it's more difficult because they're on top. When they're in your offices, uh, your, your lobbying offices, that's a different dynamic. But they're rarely there. So normally lobbyists have got to meet them in a restaurant or a golf course or something like that. But it's very rare that it's their restaurant or their golf course. We change that dynamic by having our restaurant, meaning my staff and I. And uh, so when we had members there and staff, there and clients there, whoever it was, it was in our home. And just that slight change of a dynamic was important. The second thing that was really vital to us uh, when I was lobbying, unfortunately, is, you know, lobbyists raise an awful lot of money for members of Congress. And I raised, during the time I was a lobbyist, millions every year on both sides of the aisle. Twelve million dollars a year. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, so we had, I had a restaurant that I could allow members to avail themselves of the private rooms for fundraisers and uh, other events like that. I also had sports boxes and things, but the restaurant was right there. They, we actually sometimes even sent um, my car and driver to pick them up and bring them to their own fundraiser in the restaurant. So it was from a lobbying point of view, it was really ideal.